Family systems theory states that individuals cannot be understood in isolation from one another, but must be seen as part of a family system. We are biologically social organisms, and our development is intricately linked to the other organisms we grow up with, our family members. The family is like its own emotional unit, and it's the nature of the family that its members are intensely connected. As the family system grows and develops, unconscious rules and routines can develop as well, as each member of the family system is expected to respond to other members in a certain way according to his or her role. The reason why each family member takes on a particular role is so that the system can create a status quo or equilibrium in order to function. If one person in the system is sick or is struggling, the whole system is affected. But often, the family system will adapt and find a way to maintain equilibrium even with the sick or struggling person playing their role. The danger here is that if a family system has created a status quo or equilibrium with the sick person playing their role, it might be difficult for the sick person to get better as that change will affect the balance of the whole system. Often, a person struggling with a mental health or behavioral issue will not be able to get better unless all of the parts of the family system change a bit to allow for the person's new role as healthy and well. Of course, family systems come in all shapes and sizes with all different kinds of makeups. And the good news is, when we work with the whole system, we can have a long-lasting, multi-generational positive effect on the family. If your loved one needs treatment and or therapy, scout out and work with therapists or treatment centers that use family systems approaches. Especially if your loved one is dealing with an addiction issue, there are family support groups such as Al-Anon or CODA that can be very helpful. I actually recommend these programs for everyone who wants to strengthen their own mental health as well as strengthen their family system. It's also a great idea to learn and practice mindfulness in your family system. There are many books and resources on how to encourage mindfulness within your family dynamic. Mindfulness helps everyone learn to allow space for themselves and their loved ones as they heal and grow.